the, the, the conviction being overturned in Israel, waiting appeal in Germany. He's 91 and reportedly sick. So is, is this worth it at this point? You know, worth it, it all depends on how you see justice. I don't see this as a matter of retribution. This is going to, not going to give any survivor who's alive or children of survivors any sense of closure. I think people often say, oh, well, if we get a guilty verdict, we'll have closure. There's no closure. But I think it's a matter of, of justice, that you don't walk off scot-free. And um, amongst the victims at these death camps and in many other places as well, were old people of 91, 92, 93, and infants, little babies. Uh, they wanted to get rid of the old, they wanted to get rid of the young. There was no mercy for those people, and it seems strange for suddenly now to say, I'm old, and what, what harm, just let me live out my life. What they decide to do in terms of a sentence, that's a different thing. One thing I do want to note, the defense attorney um, for Demyanyuk, he's often made the argument that he that his client is effectively a stand-in uh, and a kind of scapegoat, that he's he essentially um, stood by and did nothing and, and participated, but that a great many Germans at that time did the same thing. And it, I guess I'm wondering what, what you feel about that assessment. You know, yeah, he may, you know, on some level, the defense attorney may be right. Damianyuk is, in a way, a stand-in. There, there were many other guards over the past 30 years who could have been brought to, to justice. And Damianyuk was pursued because they had the facts, they had the documents. Sometimes 